So when was the last time you were in water? Uh, two weeks ago. Boat inspections are needed in Lake Tahoe because we have this westward expansion of invasive species across the nation. So do you have any idea what we're doing the inspection for? Uh, for mussels. For mussels, zebra mussels, quagga mussels. This shopping cart was dropped into Lake Mead for about five months. If we were to have zebra mussels and quagga mussels into Lake Tahoe, what we would all see in a very short period of time is multifold effects. Anybody who recreates on the lake in any way would be affected. You can be growing them inside your boat and not even be able to see them, not even know that you have them. Some of the damage they can do on the outside, and as you can see, they clog up the cooling system on your boat. Annually, we inspect approximately 10,000 boats. Each year, we intercept dozens of boats with invasive species, quagga and zebra mussel on them. The problem with those quagga mussels and zebra mussels is that they can live for so long out of water. Up here in Tahoe, they say about 30 days. Take a look here in the storage locker. A boat inspection consists of an inspector looking to see that a boat is clean, drain, and dry. This being the lowest part of your boat, there's a much larger quantity of water in there. We ask you where you're coming from, where you've been, how long you've been out of water, how you store your boat. When we put all these things together. We'll look in the bilge, in the storage lockers, on the outside of your boat, on your out drive, on your hull, on your trailer. Make sure that you're not carrying anything like debris, dirt, dirty water, any moisture at all. Open up your bilge container, your engine compartment, your storage lockers, and let the sun and the air get inside those. Without the boat inspection program, uh, Tahoe would be at risk to all sorts of invasive species. A lot of things can happen that would negatively impact our ecosystem and our environment and our local economy as well. Everything's at stake. It only takes one infected boat to put Lake Tahoe in jeopardy. 